Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we will check out the PUBG desktop. So let us start. So this is a PUBG desktop. Neat and clean. Only there is a one panel at the bottom. You have got the application menu on the bottom left and there are some network manager then the notification area then you have got the volume control power control and date and time and at the rightmost there is raven so we will uh, discover the raven little later first let us check out the different applications that are available so calculator is part of gnome desktop not a part of uh, budgie but uh, sometimes in some uh, distros calculator may be provided because uh, anyhow budgie is dependent on gnome technologies so calculator will work very fine here and there is this text editor i think it is uh, gedit only no it is the xcd text editor now let us check out the accessories yes we already done that okay now in the internet part you got the Awahi ssh server browser and the vnc uh, server browser and you got the firefox then you got the firewall pulse audio preferences and the yid settings so yid settings are nothing but the window settings the dialog windows you can set from here let us check out the firewall okay so the firewall is firewall d I have already shown you many times how it works so we will not go into detail basically we are uh, checking uh, the desktop here now in programming there is icon browser and the meld meld is I think file difference uh, application in sound and video you got the pulse audio volume control the video test utility and the QT based video capture utility in the system tools you got the budgie desktop settings us uh, update notifier that is part of endeavor os app then the endeavor os applications info endeavor os lock tool endeavor os quick start installer h top is there so let us check out the h top so here you can see in a fresh install budgie desktop is using just 457 mb out of the 3.23 GB allocated to it no swap is used can just check out everything load average is 0.5 so only 0.5 percent of CPU usage is there total 55 tasks are running 112 threads are there okay so it is quite light on system resource usage because it is designed like that like that only so it is very light so there are not many uh, features in this it is very uh, feature light so just the uh, required features are only available so it is not like the KD desktop where loads of features are uh, there to suit each of the each of the user so like that it is not here it is very light uh, system let us check out the budgie desktop so the peculiar thing about budgie is all the tweaking that is possible is given here so there is very less tweaking available for the user so user can choose the widget style so let us check it is kogir so if the kogir is there only we'll use so let us use the arc dark style for the widgets icon set is kogir we can go with the kogir dark if you want then cursors it is kogir we can go with the kogir dark so it will suit the arc dark notification position so the notifications that are displayed on the screen will be uh, shown on the top right so at this location the notification position will be shown so you got four options top left top right bottom left and bottom right so you can choose what you want the dark theme is 
enabled by default the built-in theme is also enabled by default and the built-in theme can override the desktop component styling and animations control whether the windows and controls use animations so that is also enabled now coming to the desktop so total uh, number of virtual desktops available are four we will reduce it to two fonts so the cantarel family and the noto science family has been used so window tiles uh, titles are cantarel bold documents use cantarel regular interface uses noto science display regular so it is a mixture of uh, <coughs> the ubuntu and uh, i think debian also uses noto science so it is a mixture of these two then monospace source code pro regular text scaling is uh, by default one hinting is slight hinting and anti aliasing is sub pixel for lcd screen so this is the perfect uh, choice so in most of the distros it is stand every uh, they use the standard grayscale but uh, it should be sub uh, sub pixel for lcd screen because most of the screens nowadays are lcd based only so this is the best uh, option or best default option now we will go ahead so this is raven so now what is raven so now you will go and check so this is the raven <coughs> the raven it is just a panel that slides from the right hand side by default and you can have it on the left hand side also so that uh, you you can configure the raven so the raven cont contains uh, applets and notifications so here the list of notifications comes in the applet section you got the calendar a simple volume slider and some apps that are playing music will be shown here and also the devices playing the music or recording will be shown here so right now i am recording this video so the microphone is shown here now you can set the raven position by automatic it goes to the default right side but you can have it from left so it will open from the left then enable the display of week numbers in calendar so if you click on this now you see the week numbers will be shown so these are the week numbers shown on the <coughs> left side show the calendar widget if you toggle it off the calendar won't be shown so here the calendar has disappeared you toggle it on the calendar will reappear so you can <coughs> basically toggle on and off the calendar the sound output widget the microphone input widget media playback controls widget and the uh, power strip also is there so power strip by default is off you can have it on it is very useful to have the power strip in the raven so here it becomes very easy just go at the uh, bottom of the uh, this raven and use it to switch the desktop on and off so you can power off the desktop from here so here if you click on this it will lock the desktop if you click on this you can log out if you click on this settings see let us see what happens i think it will open this uh, settings menu okay now <coughs> <clears throat> let us check out the windows setting so attach modal dialogs to windows it is enabled button layout is right that is standard we can have it on the left so you can see the buttons come on the left uh, top left of the windows that is uh, being displayed on the screen center new windows on the screen so you can toggle this on so all the new windows will come and be displayed at the center of the screen disable night light and uh, night light mode when windows are full screen so this is uh, disabled by default so you can have it if you want pause notification when windows are full screen so if you are doing some very important work you can uh, enable this so the no notification will be there shown when the windows are full screen automatic tiling is possible so it is of course not that kind of tiling that is available in pop os but still some basic tiling features are there 
enable windows focus change on the mouse enter and leave so you can change the windows focus when you enter or leave the mouse from the window and disable on redirection of windows so i don't know exactly so how this will work okay show all windows in a tab feature so this is important so suppose i got let us open some few windows let us open a firefox let us open let us open say desktop so now in the tab feature let so you can see the three windows are available you can uh, scroll through them you can select any one which you want to bring to the foreground so if i uh, bring this to the foreground the settings will again come to the foreground so this is how it works now this bottom panel here is configurable so the budgie at uh, these are the uh, default settings so the budgie menu comes here so this is from the left to the right then you have got the icon task list in the end there is a system tray notification status indicator so all you can see here and the user indicator clock and the raven so you can add some applets say i want to add let us check out what is available let us add the night light applet so now you check so where is the night light gone so night light has gone to the center you can i think push up push it up you can push it up or you can push it down so if you push it down it will come here so this is the place that is best for the night light most of the people will prefer it here so this is how you can add the different applets to the panel and uh, do other modifications to the panel and you can even create uh, another panel so there will be a top panel so now you can see the top panel is there you can remove it from here so you can add the panels as many panels as you want and in the auto start you can add the applications that you want to start when you start your system so this is very basic settings very light nothing extra all that is required to uh, to do a good productive work on your system is there nothing extra is there there are no uh, no uh, settings no applications that will distract you but g desktop is one of the best desktop i can say it is quite light on resources it is very simple to use and it goes out of the way when you are doing some productive work it it will just back off and you can just focus on the window uh, where you are doing the important work so this is one of my favorites so here still you can see after opening the three windows also just 884 mb is there so it is quite light uh, light on the system and if i just shut down the <coughs> it's the s top yes if i shut down the uh, this uh, firefox you can see immediately 300 mb ram has been freed so it is uh, quite impressive there is nothing else to show you or uh, maybe some wallpapers are there let us see if the wallpapers are available for i think there are even no wallpapers Okay, I think we'll have to do a separate video on this Endeavor OS apps info. So this is very good uh, application we have found out. So I will do a video on this maybe tomorrow.
so i will just jot it down this is worth doing a video on this so there are a lot of uh, different features uh, available here in this uh, app that is the endeavor os apps info so we will definitely check it out maybe we will try to do the wallpaper set here okay so i will check this out we will have a video on this uh, later there is i think no no other apps is there to do the wallpaper even click uh, right clicking is also not working on the wallpaper okay so i will stop the video here in the next video we will uh, try to do that eos this one endeavor os uh, app info so this is good app to explore thank you very much see you in the next video